Hey everyone, Tymon here and in this video I will show you how you can control the imports and exports of your TypeScript modules using an index file. But before I explain how, let me provide three reasons for why you should consider doing so. First of all, when you use an index file in your module, any imports to your module can be made more concise by reducing repetition and redundancy. Second, you can explicitly indicate what code of your module is meant to be imported externally and what code should only be used within the module itself. And third, any imports to your module are not dependent on the module's internal directory structure because they always point to a single entry point, which is the name of the module's root directory. This means that whenever you change the internal directory structure of your module, the import's independent code remain valid as long as you make sure to update your index file. So, what does this look like in practice? Let's consider a small dummy project in which we have created a module and a file that utilizes this module. The module directory contains three subdirectories. Subdir1 and Subdir2 both contain functions that are meant to be used externally, while the helpers directory contains code that should only be used within the module itself. Let's take a look at how the module functions are imported. While there is nothing inherently wrong with these imports, they are not optimal either. There is some repetition and redundancy, and when subdir1 or subdir2 is renamed inside our module, we will have to update all these imports as well. Or worse, somebody may have to do that in a project that depends on our module. Besides, we know that subdir1 and subdir2 contain the functions that should be imported, but that might not be immediately clear to someone who would like to use our module, which might even be you sometime into the future. Let's resolve these issues by creating an index file in the root directory of the module. When resolving imports, TypeScript recognizes this file as an entry point to our module by default. Then we import and export all code in this index file that is meant for external usage. This is what that looks like for our dummy module. Now, if we go back to myfile.ts, we can safely discard the subpaths after the initial reference to our module. Note that the previous imports are still valid, but using them would defeat the purpose of using an index file, so don't do that. And that's it! After these optimizations, our module now benefits from the advantages that were mentioned in the beginning of this video. There is one more thing that you should know, which is that TypeScript will prefer files over directories when resolving imports. So make sure there is no identically named file on the same level as your module's root directory. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you at the next one.